Hi, my name is Peter and this is Slow Blues and E by Yourself Part 2 and this one has a real nice rhythm as you just heard. Real great bluesy sound and how is it done? First I'll explain the rhythm, then I'll explain the 12 licks again, it's also in Part 1 but I'll take the, I'll take the licks from Part 1 and put them in this video. And then that we're going to combine that, we're going to make a solo with the licks and the rhythm. And it sounds real great when you're all alone and you have the blues. Bar one goes like this. And the break in bar two, only the sixth string and then you're silent because then there's room to play a lick. How do you play it? On beat one, two times the open sixth string. And it's nice when you mute it a little, not but palm mute, just a little bit. Then two on two and two on three, two on the third string and two on the second string. And you can play it different ways. You can play it with your second and third finger, or with your third finger, two strings. I like to play it with my second and third finger because then the vibrato is easier for me. So the second beat is two times two on the second and the third string. I like to play it with down strokes. You can use alternate picking down, up, down, up. But in this case, in the slow version, I'd like to use down stroke. Beat three, two times the open string, the second and the third string again, but immediately on the third string and hammer on to one. That's a nice sound. And then on the end of three, two on the fifth string. And on four, you play zero two on the fourth string. So it's sixth string, two times, two times two on the second and the third string with the vibrato. Then zero zero on two and three with the hammer on to one immediately. And two on five, so the third beat is or that one I use an upstroke most of the times. And the fourth beat is 0 2 on the fourth string. So the full bar is 3, 4, 1, and 2, and 3, and 4, and. And I really, really, really like it. 1, and 2, and 3, and 4, and. Second bar, only the sixth string open and short. 2, 3, 4. Bar 3 and 4 are the same, so you also play 3, 4, and 1, and 2. And three and four and one. Two, three, four. So the first four bars are three, four and one. Then two and three and four and one. Two, three, four and one. And two, three and four and one. Two, three, four. Then bar five, the same figure. Now you start on the first beat with two times the fifth string open because now we play the A chord. Also a little mute. Then on beat two, also two times two on the second and the third string. Only now on three just a zero and two on the fourth string. Because in beat four we play zero two on the third string because it goes to this note, the A, which is the root note of the A chord. So bar five is three, four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. So one, and two, and three, and four, and. Then bar six is a break on the fifth string. One, two, three, four. Bar seven and eight are the same as bar one and two, so you know them. It's like one, and two, 
and three and four and break on E. Three, four. So about five, six, seven, and eight are one, two, three, four. Start on A. Break on A and now back to E and one and two and three and four and break on E. Three, four. Bar 9, the B chord is played there, and now we're going to play the same figure as on the A chord, but we go up two frets. So you start on two times the two on the fifth string with your first finger, then four, four on the second and the third string, two times. I play it with our third finger, and then on the third beat you play two times the two with your first finger. And four on the fourth string. So one and two and three and and on four you play two four on the third string because you go back to the B, which is the root note of the B chord. So it's one and two and three and four and bar ten is a break on the A chord, so you only play the open fifth string. One, two, three, four. In bar eleven you play the figure of the E chord, bar one, so one and two and three and four and, and bar twelve is the break on the B, so you only play the two on the fifth string, one, two, three, four. That's it, so bar nine, ten, eleven and twelve are one, two, three and B and one, break on A, one, two, now to E and one and two. Break on B, one, two, three, four. So this rhythm is played like this. One, two, three, four, and one. Break, two, three, again, and one. Break, two, now to A, and one. Break, two, back to E and one. Break two and now to B and one. Break on A two three to E and one. Break on B two three four. Now the licks. I will show you the twelve licks you can use in the bars with the breaks, that are the even bars, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and 12. For now we start on beat 2, and the first lick goes like this. It's 3, 0 on string 1, with a little blues bend on 3, 3, 0 on the second string, and again 3, 0 on the first string with the bend. So it's 2 and 3 and 4 and... And when you come from the rhythm in bar 1, it's like this. One. Break, two and three and four and and back to the rhythm in bar three. Break and the lick. That's when you only play lick one. Lick two is like this, it's the blue scale. You play zero on string one, three zero on string two, and three two zero on string three with the blue note. So it's one, two and three and four. It sounds real nice. Two, three, four. One, two, and three, and four, and. Lick three, a simple lick, it goes like this. But you can use the bend on two for the bluesy sound. It starts on two on the fourth string, then zero, two on string three, zero on two, and two, zero on string three. So it's one, two, and three and four and lick four again the blues kill but now it goes up so we start on two on the fourth string then zero two three on the third string and zero on two and zero on one so one two and three and four and i like it lick five one of my favorites has a real nice bluesy sound it starts with your second finger on the second fret of the third string and you slide immediately to four then your first finger pick three on the second string, then zero on one and zero on two, and three zero on the first string with a little bend on three. 
because again, you can't bend a zero. So it's one, two, and three, and four, and... And I really, really like the lick, especially when you play the rhythm. Lovely sound. Lick six, a little bit similar, but it's all about little changes because little changes make big differences in your life and in your playing. It starts again with a slide from two to four on the second beat. One, then three again on the second string, then zero on the first string, three again on the second string, and then you slide back to two from four to two, and zero on the third string. So it's one, two, and three. Nice lick. Lick 7, also a little bit similar, starts again with a slide, because the slide is wonderful. Then 3 times the 3 on the 2nd string, and then you slide back from 4 to 2, and 0 on 3. So that's 1, 2, and 3, and 4, and... And you can give it lots of vibrato, the 3 on the 2nd string. I like that. Lick 8, the same as lick 7, almost the same. Starts the same with the slide to 4 and then 3 on the 2nd string, but now also this 3rd string on 4. So you get the double stop. And then you slide back. A little change, but it sounds real different. And you can give vibrato to both strings. Lick 9 also starts with the slide, because the slide is real wonderful when you play the blues, so it goes from 2 to 4 on the 3rd string, then again the 3, then you slide back, 0 on 3, and 2 0 on 4, so it's 1, 1. Lick 10 a little bit similar to Lick 9, only now the last 2 0 is not on 4, but again on 3, so it's 1. But it's all about minor changes. Lick 11 slides again back. So you start the same. One. Slide back. But then you go up again from two to four. And the three. So one. The seven. Please, please, please experiment with it. It sounds so nice when you play all these licks and your own licks in between the rhythm. And then finally, lick 12 starts with the slide from 2 to 4 on the 3rd string. Then 3 again. Then 0 on 1 and 0 on 2. And then a bend on 3 on the 2nd string. And then again 0 on the 1st string. So it's 1, 2 and 3 and 4 and... And I really like that. So, now you know the 12 licks, you know the rhythm, what you have got to do is you can play the example solo. Download the tabs from my site www.guitarpeter.com slash download. You can download the PDF file for free, no strings attached, you won't be lured into any paid content. Everything is free. So don't hesitate and go take a look at my website because all my videos are organized over there. The example I give in the sheet music is this rhythm combined with only lick number 9. And lick number 9 was this one. And when you play that in all the even bars, you get it sound like this. One, two, three, four, and one.
So now you know the rhythm, now we're going to take a look at the example solo that I made. So the first sentence is like this, three, four, and one. Lick eight, one. Rhythm. And lick eleven. Then the second sentence, bar 5 to 8. In bar 6 we play lick number 5, and in bar 8 we play lick number 10. And I really like lick number 5. So it goes like this. 3, 4, and A chord. Lick number 5. E chord. And 10. Bar 9 to 12. In bar 10 we play lick number 12. And in bar 12 we play lick number 6. And it goes like this. 3, 4, and 1, and 2, and 3, and 4, and 1. Lick number 12. Rhythm. And lick 6. 1. So the total example solo goes like this. Three, four, and one. So that's it, that's step two. I really hope you like it. I like it a lot. And there'll be more videos like this because I like to make a series we can take it all over the neck. That's always nice to play. So, see you and have fun.